Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between a list and a NumPy array. Let's just start by creating a list. L equals 1, 2, and 3, for example. And now let's create a NumPy array. First, let's import NumPy as NP. And it's going to be the NumPy array called A, NP that array. And we're going to have uh, the same elements, 1, 2, and 3. So let's take a look at both. So on the surface, if you can see, they both look the same, like a list of numbers. Now let's try to add an element to the list. We can do that by using the append method. Let's add 4. And if we call back L, we have the 4 has been added to the list. You can also accomplish that by using the plus sign and let's add five for example to it and now you have one two three four and five now let's try to do this with a numpy array first let's try the append method and you get an error you cannot use append with a numpy array now let's use the plus sign method to add four and five at the same time and you get yet another error. So at this point, you're probably thinking that a NumPy array is kind of useless. However, it is not if you're thinking of doing mathematical operations. But why? Why would you do a mathematical operation with a list of numbers? When, for example, you think of that list as a vector or a mathematical object. Let's say you want to double, double the value of each of those elements in that list. You will need to create a brand new list, an empty one, and use a for loop for each element in the original list. Append to L2 the element times 2. Now, if we see L2 has given us what we wanted. See, we had to go through all that process and use a for loop in order to achieve that. Let's do once again, let's try to square each of the elements on the list L. So let's create yet another empty list called L3 and use a for loop again for each element in L to append to L3 the element times itself. So you have L and now you have L3 and you accomplish that. But once again, in Python using loops, it's really slow. So this is when a NumPy array is really convenient. When you think of it as a vector where you want to apply different mathematical operations to element wise. So let's try to do the same thing now with a NumPy array. Let's say you want to double each of the element values. You just multiply by two, and that's that. Let's say you want to square it very easily, just to square it. And not only that, but by using NumPy, you also have access to many different mathematical functions, such as, for example, let's say you want to take the square root of each of the elements of the array, and that's it. Uh, how about you, you want to take the logarithm of each of those elements? What about you want to calculate the exponential of those elements? You can use a whole set of functions and that is why a NumPy array lists are really useful too, but a NumPy array is more useful if you see a list of numbers as a vector where you want to apply different types of mathematical operations to. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.